Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News episode 49 and today's episode I'm going to show you guys a little PowerShell. Um, PowerShell is very useful. You do a lot with it, um, especially with dealing with Active Directory. Um, today I'm going to show you guys how to create multiple folders and the reason for this is if you're building a, a new folder infrastructure in your build in your company and let's say you have a main root that you want to share to all your users and you have different departments um, rather than right clicking and hitting new and you want to create a folder for the A department and you want to create another folder for the B department imagine you had 25 departments and you had to right click and do this it's kind of a waste of a time so in PowerShell, we're able to do this a little bit more easier. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So I'm going to open up uh, the Windows PowerShell ISE, uh, run it as an administrator. Okay. Uh, let's say this folder, the, the folder on my desktop, DIR, is the directory and the main folder where I'm going to drop everything in. Okay. And most likely inside those folders, that's what I'm going to share out to the users. So first thing I want to do when we want to declare a variable and I'm going to do a dollar sign user users and I'm going to assign it to get content. Okay. And then it's going to get content for a specific folder. Now I already created the folder actually the file created the file and the file is actually uh, right here on the desktop now this is the folders that I want to create but imagine you had hundreds of thousands of folders you can actually write it up in a text and then just push everything out in one shot so to get content I want this script to get the content from this particular file Hit enter now we need to create a loop so that means create a variable within the loop to go inside this users group retrieve everything that's inside this file and then create it so um, I'm going to use for each okay open parentheses dollar signs I need to create a variable to drop everything from the users can variable into that variable so let's keep it as user in dollar uh, users okay. open the parentheses and we need to create a new variable new path assign it to um, the new path variable is basically sh you need to tell it where you want the stuff to be dropped in which is the, the, uh, your root folder you also need to create uh, you need to tell it uh, the join path in the join path you have to give it this direction so I'm just going to copy and paste okay and then you have to give it the uh, parameter of child the path of the user so basically what's doing right now is the variables right here and here are going in here so these variables right here is going in here right and then it's looping to go in here and then it's going to here okay so it's doing a constant loop reading the file once it ends to the read, when it ends to the, when it gets to the end of the file, it's done. Okay. So we need to add one more, and that's new item. Right. This is where it creates the file. Give it a parameter of type, and there's a directory. And we are going to close our loop now. Because I'm going to close this and I'm going to keep this open. Because I'm using um, and we're going to run. 
on it. And as you can see, everything went successful and my folders are created. And that's about it, guys. Uh, that's the end of this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Please comment below. And if you have any issues, just let me know. And please subscribe. Thank you. Subscribe! Thank you.